Today we're going to learn how to assemble Kalak's door insert. Do you want to know? You are watching Jancy's Corner. I think I'm about you. If you like to hide clutters from your Kalak shelvings, putting Kalak's door insert is one of the solutions. So in this video, you will learn how to do it. But before anything else, let's remove the stuff from the shelvings. Now let's unpack the door insert. So if you want to buy this product here in Ireland, this is the item number. And the size is also listed just beside it. So we got the door itself. You can see the holes for the hinges and screws. Next, we got the wall insert and they are foldable. And of course, we got the manual. Inside this box are the screws and hinges. Now fold the insert to form a square. Make sure the laminated part is the inside part. Then fold the two inches end away from inside. Now put the insert into the shelf where you want it covered. These two holes are the indication where your hinges should be placed. That means you have to know which way the opening of the door will be. In this video, the door opens from the left side. That's why the hinges are put on the right and the handle on the left. Here, I'm measuring the thickness of the door. This will serve as the guide of the indent for the insert. Next, put the mark on the indent. Same measurement as the thickness of the door. You can use this method if you want. I also find out that the package provides a plastic tool to measure the indent. You can either use it to put the mark or hold it while drilling or putting screws. Once both sides are marked, you can realign and put the screws and hinges. I would recommend to use a drilling tool to make a hole on the shelves. Just ensure the size of the drill is smaller than the screw. By doing this, you will not need much effort to fit in the screw into the wall of shelf. Use the hole from the insert as a guide. Also, the wall of the shelf is shallow in the middle. So don't push it too hard to prevent it from going through to the other end. Do the same on the other side. Then, using the screwdriver, put the screw on the allotted hole. On the other side, get the base of the hinges and put it on the hole together with the screw. You will see an A and B mark on both sides. Please note that A should be positioned near you. Your eyes. 
There's no way to define what we feel inside Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go I would recommend a short with chubby handle screwdriver. It will give you an enough space to push the screw, at the same time a good grip. This time, let's put the other part of the hinges on the door. Simply follow the steps as shown. Next, let's put the handle. Put the screw provided and turn it upside down. Then support the screw by your finger while inserting the handle on the other side. Tighten it very well or you can use a screwdriver to do so. Now connect the door hinges on its base. You will see a hole at the end of the door hinges which is intended to match with a screw on the base. Fit it in and try the proper placement. We'll be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? Once you think it's in the right position, tighten the screw that connects the two hinges. Doesn't matter how Then, check the alignment of the door from outside. I notice that there is a big gap on the top. If this happens, all you need to do is adjust these screws. Loosen them up and adjust accordingly. You can use the plastic tool that we use to measure the indent to support the door at the bottom. Then tighten it up once the door is aligned properly. Finally, your Kallax door insert is done. Hope you learned some tips and tricks in this video. Thank you very much for watching guys and please don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Also give us a thumbs up in our Facebook page.